I have good news. Well, I've, I've had good news for a week. I just haven't shared it yet because, well, I don't know. I don't really have a good reason. Part of it is because it affects my girlfriend too. And I know she's not the kind of, the same kind of person I am who just openly shares everything, which I completely respect. But, you know, I've, I, I know how to share this without without disrespecting her because I know she respects, she wants, you know, she enjoys her privacy and everything. And there are certain things she prefers that I don't discuss. And, and that's fine. I want to respect that. That's why I haven't recorded, well, part of the reason why I haven't recorded the video yet. The other part is honestly, because I've just been kind of, I don't want to say lazy. It's not that. It's just, I felt like there was no reason to share this. Not, not this specifically, just in general. But anyway, I spoke about that in the last video. That, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to share what I learned from the doctor last week when I went for my last treatment. <coughs> so I already kind of got an update a couple weeks before that from the, um, the nurse. And when I spoke to the doctor, the conclusion was the same. A lot of the tumors have shrunk, some of them significantly. A few of the bigger ones have gotten bigger, but not drastically. So it's mixed results. Honestly, I asked like, okay, but is it good news? Is it bad news? Is it better? Is it worse? They're like, honestly, it's pretty stable. It's mixed results. We can't really give you any specific details. We would like to do another different kind of test so we can have a better understanding of exactly the size and everything. And I'm assuming we'll do that in the next few weeks or whatever. But basically they're like, it's stable. And considering the situation and the fact that initially, you know, they told me like, if you do nothing or the treatment doesn't work, you'll be dead in 60 days. And now it's four and a half months later. That's, that's a good sign in and of itself. And just the fact that it's stable is really good sign. So to me, I'm like, all right, things are moving in the right direction, but it also made me realize it's been four months and things are just stable, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But if after four months it's just stable, it's going to take a long time before it gets to the point where I'm fully healed. So I could potentially be fighting this. Well, not really fighting because it's not a combat. It's more, this is my life. This is the experience I need to go through. But anyway, this experience could potentially last years. And I'm like, all right, I've been doing this diet for the last four months and it's making me, making me really miserable. I don't think I can keep doing this for years, which is why I've changed my diet. And I spoke about that in the last video, so I won't go into detail here, but it's kind of, it's changed a lot of things since I got those results. But most of all, the biggest change that came from this was, well, it's funny because, you know, the last few week or few treatments I went, like I knew the test was coming. So I was asking questions of like, all right, you know, if we get good results, can I travel? Like, what does it mean and everything? And he's like, we don't like, I can't tell you, I, we don't have the information. I need to tell you anything. So we had need to wait till we get the results. And since they finally got the results last week, I was going to ask, of course, can I travel now? And before I could even ask that, the doctor asked me, do you want to travel? Well, I'm like, I don't know. That depends on what you tell me. Can I travel? And he's like, yes, you can travel. It should no longer be hazardous to your health to get on a plane. Which means that I still can't go back to Nicaragua because I need to be here every three weeks. But I can go for a visit. Which means that my girlfriend and I can get married, which means we can begin the sponsorship process to bring her here. And we're also doing something else at the same time. So it's like we can now do those two things simultaneously and getting married will help both for both of those things as well as, you know, help us because it, it's weird for me to say this because, you know, I was raised an atheist. Now I consider myself agnostic. You know, I believe in the universe, even though what I describe as universe and everything is very similar to what other people describe as God and whatever faith and everything. But to me to use those words, it's very difficult. Anyway, all that to say, because of the way that I grew up, marriage was never important to me. It's like, whatever, it's just a paper. It's just an agreement. Like it doesn't change whether or not you love someone. So to me, it was never a big deal. I never imagined myself getting married, but then I met my girlfriend and I started imagining myself and I'm like, I actually do want to get married. Like I want to spend the rest of my life with her. 
So, you know, getting married, yes, is going to be good for immigration, but that's, that's not why we're doing it. Like, okay, it's a benefit, but we're doing it because we want to get married. We're doing it because we love each other and we want to spend the rest of our lives together. And it's just, it's weird, but fun to me because my entire life, I never pictured myself getting married. And now it's just like, wow, I'm really looking forward to it. And now I actually can. I, I'm allowed. I mean, I still could have gone if I wanted to. The doctor said I couldn't, but it's, it's probably not a good idea to go it against doctor's recommendations when it comes to your health and potentially dying. So, you know, I didn't want to risk it, but now I have permission. I can go and with my job, I'm going to have time off during the holidays. So the plan is kind of go back over there for a couple weeks. Hopefully I can have like three weeks off with the, the time off and everything and the holidays. So I should potentially be able to leave for three weeks. <coughs> and the doctor said, if you want to, you can postpone one of the treatments by a week. So instead of having three weeks in between, you could have four weeks for one of them. That wouldn't change anything. So I could potentially um, go there for a month, not work for three weeks, and then one week just work from there. I spoke to my boss. That should be a, like I should be able to do that. So that's kind of like the plan we're, we're aiming for. But it's like we never know. With immigration and everything in the works, like things could happen faster or slower. Like we, we don't know. And that's part of, you know, what I was talking about in the other video about the whole surrender thing and everything, but it's just, it feels good that I can, we can finally move forward. We can finally move forward with our future and start building a life together and everything. Even if she can't come here immediately, it's a very big step in the right direction. And it just, it feels really good. And I know I don't want to have any expectations and everything because, you know, marriage is a big step and long distance and situation everything's like you, you can never know what's gonna happen so i don't want to get my hopes up i don't want to have any expectations but it's very very good news and i'm i'm really happy about it <laughs> it's kind of like things have been going so bad for so long that i'm not it's like i'm not used to things going well anymore and I'm like, I just like, I don't really know how to react. It's like, wait, this seems like a good thing. But from my past experience in the last few months, whenever something seems good, it just gets fucking blasted to smithereens and it just somehow gets worse. I'm like, I don't want to get in my hopes up. But at the same time, it's like, okay, things can't always be bad. It can't always be bad and bad and bad and bad and bad. And at some point, something has to be good. It can't keep going like this forever. So I'm allowing myself to be optimistic. I'm not having any expectations, but I'm optimistic. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to get married. I don't know exactly when, but probably very soon. And it's nice. It's, it's really nice. All right. Slightly different topic. I wanted to mention this in the last video. I think I didn't go into it as much as I wanted to, but I just want to mention, um, rewatching those videos yesterday, I was talking about that in the last video, um, made me realize like it's important for me to share this story. There are a few certain details that out of respect for my girlfriend, I'm not going to share, but everything else, I want to be as open as I can. And I don't want to hold myself back anymore. Not that I've, that I've really been holding myself back. It's just the last few weeks, I feel like there isn't really anything entertaining going on in my life, anything worth sharing. So instead of making boring, pointless videos, let me just not make videos, but rewatching them made me realize like, no, 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 like it's important. A lot of people have never and will never experience something like what I'm going through and it can be helpful to them. So it's important for me to share. That's who I am. I'm a storyteller. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. But you know, the whole point of the video, the conclusion of everything is, yes, I'm getting married, <laughs> which still sounds weird for me to say weird in a super good way, but still weird just because of the way I was raised and how I live most of my life, but <sighs> it feels good.